Hello and welcome to DCMU Theme Park News. I'm Ragster, the webmaster of uh, DCMU. And today, carrying on our top 10 um, rides at each theme park, today we're covering Universal Orlando Studios. And, uh, you know, the first time I went to that theme park, back in 2006 it was. Wow, you know, one of the most brilliant theme parks in the world. If there's something the Americans do that the British don't do, is world class theming. I mean, they've obviously got more money than British parks have, but that's because they can bring the people in. They've got the weather, the weather matters obviously. Bring the people in, it's cheap over there, it makes such a difference. So, here's my top 10 rides or attractions, because some of them may not actually be rides in the rides, you know, not roller coasters, but that way. Um, but yeah, here's my top 10. So, here's where we spin round and you watch the screen while I talk. Right, so, here we can see the entrance to Universal Studios. Oh, Harry Potter. What a difference this fella's made. Transformers, you know, Despicable Me, the Minions. Wow. So, number 10 on the list. Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. Great little coaster. Oh, here we go. Um, good family coaster. Coaster for fun little ones, it says. So it's actually closed for maintenance at the moment. And all that, you know. But yeah, great little... Um, I can't tell you made it, because to be honest, I don't know them sort of things. But it's in the, the kids' area of the park, where there's lots of playgrounds and stuff. And if you didn't know, you'd probably miss it, you know. But it is one worth going on with your child. You know, great family roller coaster. So, number nine. Now, here's a curious one for number nine. It's actually more of a cinema attraction. It's a 4D cinema with Shrek and Donkey. And, you know, you sat in them seats. And if you've never experienced a 4D cinema, this is probably the best one in the world, in my opinion. Um... You're watching them for the life of me. I can't. I can't 100 percent remember. And uh, yeah, it's kidnapped Princess Fiona anyway. And Shrek and Donkey are hot on the trail. You need your 3D glasses for this. And uh, you get the blowing underneath your seats. You get wet above, uh, wind, the element. You know, it's, it's all there. Last, if I remember rightly, it lasts about 15 minutes. Fantastic little ride, you know. And it says there, moving seats, water, wind and mist. Just a few of the special effects. Brilliant. You've probably seen it on, on, on Netflix, if anything. But yeah, great. That's at number nine. So at number eight, I need to knock that off. What better than E.T.? As a kid, I can remember this ride actually being uh, showcased for the first time. So there you are, you're in the ride... Um, you're in like a, a bicycle, uh, it's like a bicycle roller coaster in some ways, but you're not doing any cycling, so don't worry about that. Four in a row, uh, four or five rows, if I remember rightly, and you start off in the city and you fly all the way to, you know, um, ET's alien planet, and then they're all waving to you. It's great, you know, it's more of a it's not a thrill ride of any sort, but it's an attraction, you know, if you love ET and I love E.T. You'll love this ride. You know, you get a photo after. You get a passport to start off with to go on your way. E.T. thanks you at the end of the journey. You know, it is fantastic. Next on the list, The Simpsons ride. If you love The Simpsons, this used to be the Back to, Back to the Future ride. So it's another... You're in like... Um, uh, motion uh, car sort of thing and you know the ride itself you're on roller coasters you're, you're flying through the air you're being dragged air there and everywhere absolutely fantastic not the greatest ride if you don't like the motion rides you know but other than that 
absolutely fantastic and as you can see by these pictures in front the theming is world class you know but don't have your dinner before and next on the list men in black now this is like a ghost train where you're shooting the baddies type ride but the the, the theming you know again the theming is beyond you know it is world class you're going to love it. You know, even queuing's an experience. Um, you get on the ride. I never seem to win this ride. You know, I've done it countless times with my kids and I always seem to come last. So God knows what I'm aiming at, but obviously not the right thing. If you remember the film where he goes shooting the baddies and that, similar to that really, you know. Um, you just go, go you, you're going through on a little train, you're shooting all the bad guys. And that's the ride. So a basic concept made into a fantastic ride. So next on the list, Transformers the ride, and it and, uh, actually shows you. Get off. So there's the queue line there, and the queue line is as interactive as you can get. You know, you feel like you're part of it. There's some great photo experiences outside. So you know. And similar to the Spider-Man ride at Islands of Adventure, you're in, a, you're in a, a car that goes around different scenes and there's bits of photographic, like, you know, f f cinema footage mixed with, you know, seemingly uh, real footage from a robot. And it is fantastic, you know. So it says here, Freedom Fighters, you've been recruited to save Earth from Megatron and his Decepticons. They want to rule the planet, wipe out, wipe out all of us. To do this, they need the all spark. And then you're going to board your nest vehicle, join Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, and basically fight them and, uh, you know, get rid of them. And uh, there's 13 Autobots and Decepticons in the ride, other than the main few. Fantastic ride. Now, here's a ride that's not long opened. Fast and Furious Supercharged from obviously the Fast and Furious films the Q line obviously intermersive with you know immersive rather intermersive uh, immersive with all the posh you know the decent racing cars or replicas at least and uh, you know for the ride you've got to be minimum of 40 inches so that's 120 centimeters to ride it Join Fast and Furious for a full throttle eye octane experience where you'll be immersed in art pound action alongside Dom, Letty, Hobbs and the rest of the crew. You'll meet up with the team, check out the vehicles and locations and basically a fantastic thrilling ride. And because obviously, you know, the IP is owned by Universal and that, you know, it's great for them to have this on the part. Now here, if you love the Mummy films, which, is it Brendan Fraser starred in? You'll love this ride. You know, the queue line is really immersive. You get on the ride, you start off, there's the scenes where there's fire and there's bits where you stop, then you go backwards. But the whole ride, you know, for a roller coaster, is fantastic fantastic you know a massive uh, it's not just a roller coaster it's an old theme one of the best one of the best dark rides in the world in my opinion so entering the top two now rip ride rocket you'll get on this ride the queue line's great not the most immersive but then you, you get in the queue like there you choose your, your song and you sat back and you get you up a, a vertical hill to start off with where your music pans then you're here and you go through that that non-inverting loop there it looks like you're going actually upside down you do not go upside down it's a non-inverting loop and you know it's a fantastic ride definitely a big thrill ride you know it's not for the for the faint-hearted but uh yeah absolutely fantastic you know the music element brings a you know something else to this park you know just being watching it now just makes me want to get back on it although you know it gets me every time it's it's such a good ride it looks fantastic in the dark as well finally 
the number one on the list, Harry Potter and the Escape, Escape from Gringotts. And as you can see, look at the theming. It's unbelievable. The queue lines, as, as, as all Universal's queue lines, the theming is just something else. It's just absolutely world class. You know, whilst none of us want to queue, sometimes it's an experience just to be in that queue line. So you're entering Gringotts Bank beneath the massive fire breathing dragon at the end of, far end of Diagon Alley. Inside you walk through the bank's grand marble lobby and see goblins all at work. Then get ready to take a journey through the cavernous passageways that lead deep underground as you climb aboard the mind-blowing multi-dimensional thrill ride. You'll face the bank's stringent security measures while navigating perilous subterranean bolts. Along the way you'll encounter Harry, Ron and Hermione but you'll have to evade the wrath of Voldemort and Bellatrix, as well as trolls and other creatures that stand between you and a safe return to Diagon Alley. The fire that blasts out of the dragon's mouth reaches temperatures of 3,560 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Yeah, not getting involved in that fire. But yeah, that's the number one ride. And as always, this is September 2018, who knows what will come next year and the year after. You know, world class park, world class rides. That's all you've got to say. Thanks for watching this episode of Top 10 Rides.